Our final composer today is Claude Debussy, a French composer born in 1862. By the time he was an adult in writing music, the piano had pretty much evolved into what it is today. Certainly the action and the power were what it is today. And what's interesting about Debussy's music, Debussy's music is he takes it one step further than Liszt, and we become even more abstract, because Debussy deals with time. And by time, I don't mean rhythm and tempo. I mean time of the mind, perceptions, wisdom and education, and endurance. And Debussy does this. It's all related to the action of the piano, where you have control over the time, and you work with timing and 88 separate strings. Let's take a look at our Debussy film. Debussy, 1862 to 1918. He turns the century. His music does as well. He's a precursor. We see our action and how even and beautiful and elegant and linear it is. When we put it inside the piano, each little hammer is hitting a different string. So Debussy takes our Bach and he says, well, I could also create structure like that or like a spiral or spin it. But Debussy uses all the animation and action of how can I use relationships and then I, how can I use this system of relationships with this system of relationships and this one and this one? And he puts them all together all at the same time. So with Debussy, you have to use your head quite a bit. But he makes it easy because it all relates to that nice, linear, easy to comprehend action. So we have a sample from Debussy today called Brouillard, which means fog. And Debussy's music is very much about the presence of the mind and its perceptions, and fog is very much something that is present. But if you can imagine those systems and fog, when you have sunlight sparkling through it, it um, is very effervescent with color. So these systems are sparkling perceptions in our mind.